Uh, and I thought their uh, lineups already locked in pretty tight here. Uh, it's Fnop who is sticking true to their DNA, the Fnop we all know. And uh, Falcons AB brand with a different kind of band pa draft pattern. Yeah. Is that is that accurate? Right? Yep. Uh, it's uh, very different. Uh, the biggest switch was that prior rush priority on the Gata Kacha instead of chasing the Fovius. It actually changed the dynamics of the drafting, leading to Falcons AB brand actually getting a lineup. That scales up a little bit better. Their early to mid game potential is strong if they can get some quick kills. You know what? Maybe you got to do something raw different to make it work. Let's see. Leo and Naisu are in the game. The Titan and the Slayer, the Standard Bearer and the Contender. World class MLBB coming your way. Welcome nice to Leo Service. Legends. Welcome to game one. Here we go. Man, oh man. I love the draft. I love that they talked about it. And especially, yes, that Gatakacha. It is the, it's got to be one of the hottest picks right now, especially that we got into the playoffs. It's so valuable. It's a breakout pick starting from week seven, eight, and then now you got to pick it first phase. Maybe only second banana to sue. Yo, I'll tell you now, I saw the Beatrix a mile away. Yeah. I woke up today and said, Kelra's playing Beatrix, but <laughs> I didn't expect the Fovius to sneak in like that. It snuck in, but I don't know. In a way, it almost, it kind of had to. It is weird you're seeing it like last though in the draft. Everybody from Fnatic Onic triggers the Fovius. But with that said, oh no, I'm actually mid. Okay, already feeling this out. And you know, because of this, it makes me, there, I know there's been a lot of debate about the Cho, being picked up for some teams. I know some teams have also switched things around where they kind of, you know, they, it looks like it's gonna go roam, then it goes XP. Mm -hmm. But I still love it in the roam here. Even this little action once uh -oh. again, gonna break out. Bruce go quite low. Oakwin though, will take the shot, get the kill. And now King Kong trying to get the revenge, but he's gonna bob and weave on out of there. Here Soul Sepper, that's enough damage and they'll pick it up. Oakwin goes down, oh, toss you. up there into the earth shatter as King Kong survived it all. Massive bait by the beast incarnate King Kong. You see how we switched up into immortal mode? Yep. And we're like, look at my damage reduction, psych! Just kidding. I, that's that's the thing. You're, you're seeing this Suyo pick up all the time now. I feel like these junglers are just getting better and better every time. He's, I don't know if I can say, like, literally, but he feels better than Julian. When was the last time you saw Julian, man? Didn't we see him? Uh, we saw Julian yesterday. I was saying, and it, yeah, just yesterday, but he fell off hard. Right. Like, in terms of being picked up and everything else. And with that being said, as soon as you hit level three, you have all your skills, and you're this dominant even after losing Brusco. Now Fuse running away! He's gonna be in trouble. He gets kicked back into the team. He can't get away. Brusco will pick up that one. Flap TZ on the backside. Gonna try to join the fight, but he might not even be tacking up Ooh. as well. Infernal Pursuit won't help him. Still surviving. Flicker in forward. All Kyle. in the orange buff as Kyle gets taken out as well. Fnup. Looks just as good as they did yesterday. They're oh, living oh, in the Falcons AP okay. Brenz jungle. 2,000 gold ahead, not even three minutes in. Joseph, I don't think I've ever seen Falcons AP Brenz sweat like this. I mean, besides a 16 oh, and 0, this is worse. There's another kick. You can't even play. King Kong finally to get taken down, and here they go. They want to clap back again. You can't escape the hero's landing from that avatar of the Guardian from Ogwin. Falcons AP Bren back on the map, shutting down King Kong. That's going to go a long way towards the road to recovery. Three minutes in, another turtle spawning in a minute, lower quarter. Good thing, good thing that Falcons AP Brand are protecting Marco. He's got to remain bulletproof yeah. if they want to see the 10 minute mark. You know, when FCAP's been in this situation before, they've been under pressure. It's not often, but you can say the same about FNOP. So FCAP will know how to respond to this momentum being set up and playing around the fact that they have this kind of lineup too. Once again, top side, waiting for them, Brusco. Not going to actually pull the trigger though, too. Super Prince joining this top side. FCAP will sniff it out and get back to base here. Good news for Falcons AP Bren. Energy shields are still up, so there is damage reduction as long as you can camp underneath. And I don't know, do they know? Brusco spotted. Get out of there, Bruce! Yeah, Brusco should be able to get away from this again. Flap is just going to give him a couple love taps. You know, get, out, get out of this jungle. We've seen you kick you too many times. Kick them out like a gentleman. Yeah, that's about them. So you can't stay here. <laughs> yeah, uh, not, so you're going to have to leave. Not this early on. <laughs> Turtle up and just as quickly taken down by Fnatic Onic Philippines. Flap can only see it go, and that will put Fnatic Onic back to about 2,000 gold. Give them that nice little comfortable lead. Part of this, though, again, is for Falcons AP Brand to just play that catch up, you know, build up on the, the deficit that they have to go against. You still see, even so, Brusco will still put pressure mid lane. Turtle Guard gonna be dropped down by Super Prince just to get them off a little bit further from that turret, but no go there. Dear Lord, Super Prince has lived in this little pocket since minute one, and now Kirk finds Ogwin. This is deep. Yeah, this is deep. Taking a couple shots. We'll spear misery there too, but you see what's happening is they're just playing through the tune right now with FNOP, and FCAP, like I said, they're fine with it. They'll look for something else. Right now here, Flap dealing with King Kong. Picks up the Thunder Belt as well, and I was surprised at how quick even Flap was taken down earlier in the game, but he's gonna get much more tanky as the game goes on. Best case scenario, you build your Thunder Belt about three and a half minutes in, so he's maybe 30 to 40 seconds behind, yeah. but that's after dying twice. So this is, you know, silver lining. Greener pastures for Falcons if you rent to come, but not while Bruce goes doing oh. this. Fight one! Doesn't follow through. All right, 
not in position. Not in position. It's good that he takes those kicks. It's almost like, yeah, you know, all the, you, you, don't, you miss all the kicks you don't take at this point, you know, for Brusco. Oh, yeah. He's been pretty on point, though, and they continue to try to hammer down this mid lane tier one, but they're not going to get it. At this point, I think Fnatic Onyx goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you don't take that. Yeah, you don't take that. Yeah, the SOD sees that Fritz is at a fifth of his health, but you see three other dudes. Never mind. At this point, Fnatic Onyx at 3,000 gold ahead, a huge gap between the junglers, that's what, a thousand and a half, Joseph? Between King Kong and Kyle, that's where a huge chunk of that 3,000 gold leaves at six minutes in. It's at this point that Rusko is just taking everything he can to really get into Falcon Xavier Prince's hands. Now, Ogwin going versus two. Ogwin, okay. Defensively, after the Guardian's on out of there. But yeah, that's what you're talking about. And Kyle Teasy's got to deal with this pressure, and that's why he's falling behind, right? He is, he's the majority of that gold deficit right now, and that's why you see FCAP kind of really trying to support him. That's going to be three for three on the Turtles for FNOP. So, objectively, uh -oh. They're exactly where they want to be. Oh, oh, they get the flicker out from Fuse. I feel like Fuse got a little bit of a... He's, he's, he's handled too many kicks at this point, man. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you're seeing some uh, short-term trauma. A little rattled. And that's what Bruce Go has done. The Juggernaut constantly pushing forward, living in Falcon's AP Red's jungle, and Flappy, you're looking for the punish. Again, playing security guard at this point, Flap, just oh, trying to get Bruce Go out of here. Kick out. How can he kick him out? He's going to go for this. Get oh. Kirk. Armor Wrath can be dropped down. Uh-oh. That might have been the wrong move. Kirk thought they were going to go in. Fuse will still survive as well. But all this, they do finally get the tier one turret for FNOP, so that's the play before that Lord comes up. Good push up top as well. At the cost of what, Joseph? They did sacrifice Kirk, but Keller has been pushing. Top lane, look at how deep that is. Mid lane, it's going to be so hard for a few to recover. I mean, economically speaking, financially speaking, they're down four. Down four. Not only that, Ogwin, you know, having a hell of a game in the Gattacacha. This is kind of what we expect, though, too, and I think even given the situation, Ogwin still being tanky enough to hold that front and jump into the backside is going to help them for the objectives. That's true. You got solid peel. Currently, this Gatot Kecha is rocking a Radiant Armor, wearing a pair of pants as well, on his way to what one can only guess is a Blade Armor yeah. to punish Kelra, to punish King Kong. But hear, hear me out. If you're down this bad, and it's your Rome that has the most farm, like relatively speaking, yeah. that's, still not a good, that's still not a good place to be. It's not a good place to be and like, I, I'm just, Kyle T Z is struggling, man. He's like 2.5k behind oh. King Kong right now. He did pick up a Malefic Roar. King Kong is hyper farming. He is. King Kong bought Bitcoin in 2010. Yeah. That's how rich he is right now. He's, he's making bank at this point. You know, he's got the time, times 100 basically on his profit. He's hanging with Elon Musk. <laughs> he's, he's there. Right now, the Lord is up. <laughs> and I think FCAP, despite the lead and the gains that he's got, they want to contest this and fight it. It's because utility. Falcons AP Red have amazing utility. It's not like FNOP are catching them sleeping. They still cover their corners. And maybe they're hedging on the fact that one solid Avatar of the Guardian, one solid uh, Eternal Guard could change the face of the Lord take. Oh, that's actually the smart decision right there. I was wondering if they were going to jump in or not. Because you saw even there, Kirk just popped that Primal Wrath, and he's like, yeah, we're just going to take this. Just go for it. It was enough of a deterrent. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they heard the Edith shed off her armor for yep. a second. So like, never mind. Is there a song that plays when she does that? Or no, that's a certain, that's a certain that's a skin. skin. That's yeah, it's, it's, that, it's that like uh, Studio Ghibli yeah, skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 5,000 gold ahead now, and even more turrets taken by the gold standard. Down bottom, just a holy shield about to get popped. And slowly but surely, Ooh. their base is shrinking. There's space on the map. Ooh. What a runner shot. That was like right. On the mark, too. I mean, he was right there. Now they uh -oh. fight under. They get the flicker out. Avatar of the Guardian going to be jumping in, but they take a soul sever to the fight. Oh, no! There's a kick as well. Kyle TZ still going to be alive, though. Super Marco will keep him at bay, but they still have a lord to deal with up top. Successful defense by Falcons AP Bread, but they're not out of the woods just yet. Kyle TZ doing his damnedest to clear this lord, bursting it like his life depended on it. And look at that. Just these nukes, Joseph. These nukes are putting Falcons AP Bread at half health. The poking so much. Brusco just planting up right in front of FCAP. Oh, that's weird destruction. Not going to land on anybody. Uh oh, they're by there too. Keep the flap. Punish. All right, pops the magic flare. And it's as if the Renner wasn't enough. You see that charge squeller? Yeah. It took a third out of Kyle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's still charging it up. And this is like, you know, walking in the in the immortal form too and just popping off the queller. Like, this is the amount of poke that FNOP has right now. And Oh, wait. Not easy. Oh, he's fine. He's easy. Fine. He wants to save as much of that third as he can. Keep it up there. Okay, so it stands. All right. Now, talking about this lineup by Fnatic Onyx, yeah. 11 minutes in, we have hindsight, 2020, 8,000 gold ahead. Whoa, oh. Ogwin, what are you thinking? That was not in my hindsight. Ogwin jumps in, gets the kick. They want to force the fight. Still going to be looking for Brusco. Brusco will be able to get away. King Kong working on the mid turn amidst it all. The spear from Super Marco won't land. <laughs> Kelra fires off, finding Flap TZ. So they jump in, FCAP, with a desperate call, won't be able to turn it around. For almost 12 minutes now, brusco has been doing this. The Juggernaut, he's unstoppable. He'll run up to you, cross all the way to your backline, and get out of there, still standing. Was that worth it? Oh, 
to be fair, Ogwin looked for a window. They made a window. Yeah. It's just Fnatic got it dispersed. They dispersed, they they committed a lot. And like, look at him. He's got a whole bunch of different items and just a completed empty caress. Like, that's all he's got. At this point in the game, especially since they buried Falcon's AP Brennan value, that's enough. That's enough. The real sources of damage from FCAP are Kyle, Marco, and Flap. Few, Few's been struggling. He barely has two items. Yep. And now that Kyle has it in the battle, what happened to Kirk? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, they're going to go for Kirk here. Pressing the situation, they're going to go off the Lord, and now he's going to clap back. Ogwin goes down first. On the chase, Flap won't be able to withstand the damage from Kelra. There's the jump in from Super Fritz, and they collapse down on FCAP as they try to walk back to the base. But Brusco and King Kong won't let it happen. As it's only Kyle TZ, he gets thrown into the air, and it's a double, and it's a game one victory for Fnaticon. The Sonics take no prisoners. Run as far as you can, but you can't hide. First blood drawn by the contenders. They got their eyes on that trophy like they swear it's going home with them. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they are. They're looking really good here, man.